with a very modern story indeed, a sort of Big Brother story in which Big Bro had the wrong guy. Many travellers now post online reviews, letting others know what's good, bad and even awful about the hotel they've just stayed in. If you search on TripAdvisor for the Reese Hotel in Queenstown, most of the reviews are totally glowing. But if you'd searched on Travelocity, another online travel portal, you would have been shocked by what you were reading. There, the Reese was a hotel to avoid at all costs. What? How can the same place be seen so differently? Jindy Harper finds out. Service was terrible. The mate did not clean our room for two days. Don't stay here. The mirror just looked like it had been shined with car wax. A huge smear in the middle. The hotel just basically seemed to suffer from neglect and poor management. If you think the words don't match the pictures, you'd be right. Kia ora, welcome to Reese. How can I help you? The brand new clerk was working by herself and was very slow. It took a ridiculous 20 minutes to check in. Those are damning words. I was mortified. Absolutely mortified. Mark Rose is general manager of the Reese Hotel in Queenstown. It's new, no expense spared, all shiny and schist, and it has a Qualmark five star rating. If there had been other available hotels, we would have checked out immediately. Initially, I thought, you know, maybe we were just, uh, you know, the victim of a scam, someone else putting some silly stuff up there. And then I started reading through them and thought, you know, this just isn't our hotel. Terrible hotel. Reservations don't mean a thing here. On an internet travel portal called Travelocity, Mark found review after damning review. Guests were bagging his luxury hotel, when actually they weren't. They were venting about some other hotel half a world away. Travellers beware. Wouldn't stay again. So how did this all happen? Well, it turns out someone at Travelocity made a big boo-boo. They linked this luxury hotel in Queenstown with reviews for a low-budget motel in the Midlands, Texas. By review four, and uh, they were talking about never going back to a place in Midland, Texas. I realised it wasn't us, and um, the same review had, was saying that the uh, that the ceiling was caving in, and I know that uh, we're brand new, so none of, the, none of our ceiling was caving in. I knew there was something wrong from there. <laughs> The bad reviews from America had been linked to the Reese in Queenstown since the day it opened. Mark had often wondered why there'd been no bookings from Travelocity. Now he knows why. You didn't go online at any time to, to check what people were saying about it? No, them? funny enough, we, because we track TripAdvisor, and TripAdvisor goes is used by uh, Travelocity for, as the, for their comment section, we just assumed, well, I just assumed, that it, everything would be fine. The terrible testimonials could have been sitting there for several more years if Mark hadn't been alerted to a cancelled booking. I went back to um, the young lady in the sales office and said, you need to find out why. And uh, the, the uh, lady at the ice pack came in and said, they've checked a Travelocity review and they said that your hotel's not clean and they don't want to stay there. And I, got, I read that email coming in before the, the girl at, uh, in sales got it, and I was just going, no, that can't be right, it's ridiculous. So if that cancellation hadn't been made, you might never have known about this. I still wouldn't know. There'd and that's, and that's really worrying. Absolutely. Your hotel. Absolutely. And with Rugby World Cup coming up, because you know, the, the, um, that, that world market is, is really important to us, that, that, that could have been you know, quite catastrophic for us. Travelocity's Asia-Pacific manager told us the company does not take these cases lightly and has apologised to the Reese for the upset it has caused the property and its clients. The reputational damage you know, could, could be quite large for us. Yeah, what, what do you estimate you've lost? Well, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, if, for three years, um, the first review came up, I believe, in February 2008. So they've been up for three years. Uh, on a similar um, channel, we might expect 40 room nights a month. Any talk of compensation? Uh, no, we have not, um, we've not discussed that. Breathtaking scenery from within the comfort of your room will stay again. Now that's more like the reviews you want. Absolutely. And he wonders if he was getting some other hotel's reviews, who was getting his? <laughs> well, it's funny, I mean, if it's gone back to the, to, uh, to the value in in Texas, uh, uh, I guess if people have read that and, and gone and stayed there, they've got to get a bit of a shock. Travellers expecting something like this in the middle of Texas might be in for a big disappointment.